2023 is the year of the mid-size pickup truck and we have a very special episode for you right now because we're comparing turbocharged small power versus good old-fashioned v6 power that's right we're going to be doing three different tests for you guys that includes a proper quarter mile drag race yep. a rolling start drag race and finally brake testing because that's what you want nissan frontier versus ford ranger well, it's almost time to sell our Ford Bronco. And let me show you this really cool new car service that'll help you get more money when it comes to selling your used car. Clearly Blaze here is sad to see the Bronco go, but let me tell you about Carmigo, which is a fantastic new selling service, which makes it quick and easy to sell your car. Carmigo gets you multiple offers in one business day from their nationwide network of dealerships looking to buy relatively new, lower mileage used cars and trucks right now. Listing your vehicle on the Carmigo Marketplace takes less than 15 minutes. You can even do it on your phone, so you can get maximum convenience as well as the benefit of multiple offers. It's always free to list on Carmigo and you're not required to sell your vehicle unless a buyer meets or beats your minimum price. To sell your car on Carmigo, there's typically a $350 sell fee. However, TFL viewers save $50. And if you want that discount, check out the link in our description below. Head over to Carmigo.io to set up your free vehicle profile in minutes and find out how fast and painless selling your car can be. What you are looking at is actually something very unique and special to Nissan, and that is because this is a 310 horsepower, 3.8 liter V6 that puts out 281 pound-feet of torque. Now, the reason why it's unique is because there are no Nissans in the United States that have this engine other than this vehicle, and it has a nine-speed automatic transmission feeding a four-wheel drive, proper four-wheel drive system. You might be saying, hey guys, why are you drag racing a 2019 Ford Ranger versus the 2023 Nissan Frontier? But it's very simple. This used truck has just about the same miles on the odometer as that Nissan, just over 5,000 miles. And under the hood, it's still the same 2.3 liter, straight four turbocharged power plant, 270 horsepower, 310 pound-feet of torque, 10-speed automatic, sport mode on the transmission, and of course, four-wheel drive. So traction control disabled here, two-wheel drive, advanced track disabled, so there's not gonna be any nannies trying to kind of pull power away from me. I'm gonna brake torque it. I'm in sport mode on the transmission. Nathan, what do you think is gonna happen? I think the Ranger will smack that Nissan. Well, not so fast, muchacho, because I actually know that I put out more horsepower. Also, and this is really important, I'm driving. Ooh, those are fighting words. All right, I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready now. Let's start. Oh, yeah, turbo's lit. Uh, lost a little bit of traction, and there goes his turbo. Oh, wow, that was a good launch. I think he uh, spun his tires just a little. Here's my result, 16.38. I lost a little bit of traction at the beginning, but you just pulled away from me. My quarter mile time was 17.62. Oh, wah, wah, wah. My quarter time was 16.38. All right, my friend, so how about a rolling start, 30 mile per hour drag race? Three, two, one, go. Oh, the turbos get lit up again. It's way closer. It's about the same uh, ending as the drag race. Yeah, dude, I can actually feel it. It's like a, like a afterburner. You know, it accelerates and then it actually gives me like a little other shove. This test is almost apples to apples, but as you already know, these are very different trucks. Now this one, the Ford, weighs about 300 pounds less than the Nissan. Although, interesting enough, they both have the same brand tires, which are Hankooks. However, these are Dynapro ATMs, and these are Dynapro AT2s. 
And do you know why I have white letters on my tires, Nathan? I don't care. No, no, no. I it's it's. Know. I have an ATM tire. It's, this truck is so fast. It actually gives you cash back. Oh, that's just horrible. I'm sorry you had to hear that, guys. As far as braking systems are concerned, they're quite similar. Both of these trucks have disc brakes all the way around, unlike the segment bestseller Toyota Tacoma. So it'll be interesting which one actually stops better. I'm betting on the Ford because it's lighter. All right, dude, um, are we ready to go for the braking test? Yep, we go up to 60 and then when we get to the cone, we slam on the brakes, right? Whoever doesn't hit the field wins. All right, dude, you lead and I'll follow. All right, here we go. So basically, we're getting up to 60 miles per hour. We need to match our, each other on speed. And then, as soon as we hit the cones, we just slam on our brakes. Well, this, this is not fair. I'm like four truck lengths ahead. I gotta come all the way down. What is it? 115 feet this is what it took you to stop. What? 115 sounds like a good number. Yeah. Y you must have stopped in like 60 feet. How is that possible? Okay, so what's the damage here? What? That can't be right. 83 feet. That's uncommonly good. Which means it's 30 feet better than the Ranger. Maybe we should do this one more time. What? You know what? Let's do this one more time and I'll drive the Ranger and you drive this. That way, everybody out there who's skeptical about our real world testing will be satisfied. Let's do it. All right, I'm all good, dude. Um, this Nissan interior looks a lot more modern. I find it to be a lot more comfortable too and quieter. All right, another braking test coming up. We switched lanes, we switched trucks, we're switching everything. How do you like them apples? This thing makes a lot of noise when it stops. Wow, 97 feet. That's okay. quite a difference. It is quite a difference. Well, let's measure the Nissan. This guy did it in 82 feet. 82.9. So dude, the Nissan has been rock solid consistent. Yeah, the break-in with the Nissan is better than the Fords, consistent, and frankly, it doesn't make as much noise the Ford's ABS makes a ton of noise. That doesn't. Nissan wins. What? Why? <laughs> yeah, because well, it doesn't. But it won the braking test. I think we could say that conclusively. It won the braking test. And it's a lot more modern on the interior, right? I mean, you can easily say that as well. Plus, I mean, in terms of personally speaking, I think it looks better. But I will admit that Ford is an absolute rocket by comparison. Yeah, there's turbocharged power, especially at higher elevations like we're at. Turbocharged power could be really, really important in the future because the next Chevy Colorado is coming with turbo power. The next Tacoma is rumored to have turbocharged power. And of course, well, Nissan might put a big giant V8 in there. How about that? Yes, and the next Dodge Dakota will have... No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Got your hopes up, didn't I? Okay, thanks for joining us, guys. We hope you learned something because I didn't. All right, and go back to oldtfl.com for everything automotive in one place, one time. At the same time? At the same time. Okay. <laughs>